Yo, fam, what's good with you? Look, fam, look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement from your boy. Look, fam, check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there, whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling YouTube family, what's good with you? It's your boy 2A in LA, and as always, fam, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, or future episodes, it's just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome, come on in, join the family by tapping that subscribe button. I think you are going to enjoy the content. And if you are an existing supporter, fam, fam, I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. All right, let's get this going. So fam, you saw the title, fam. Your boy 2A in LA is about to transition, right? I am going from mere mortal, like Clark Kent with the glasses and all of that, and I'm transitioning into Superman, fam. I'm turning into my own superhero. And you may be asking yourself, well, 2A in LA, how are you going to do that exactly? Well, I am going to get the one superpower that you can buy, and fam, that is night vision. That's right. 2A in LA is beginning his night vision journey. And so, look, fam, I've been thinking about this. I've been waiting and debating for oh so long, right? Uh, yeah, I've been waiting and thinking about this for quite some time. It was never a doubt in my mind that I was going to dive into the pool that is night vision. But, you know, fam, in the gun world, there's just so, so many guns, that you want uh, so much other gear and accessories that you want you know the the question was for me when is the right time when is the right time to dive into this pool because this is let's face it you know if you are looking to do like night training and things like that then, then, then I think you know night vision is great but the likelihood that maybe you're going to need that is probably, um, I'd say, on the lower end of likelihood. But whatever, if you want night vision, you should be able to get it and use it. So for me, it was just a matter of when's the right time. And so now, fam, I think it's the right time. And I am, this is not going to be, now, look, you guys know how I do. Sometimes I, I'll just go hard in the paint and go all in and just, get the gun and trick it out and do all of this other stuff. This time, fam, it's going to be a more gradual process. And so I thought it would be good if I kind of shared my process with you guys. And so, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff that you are going to need to, you know, play in the pool of night vision, right? Number one, you're going to need a helmet uh, to mount your night vision too. You're going to need a mount. Um, you're going to need the night vision goggles themselves, uh, right? Uh, there's some additional items you're probably going to want, counterweights and things like that, for the helmet to make that part of it all work. Uh, then obviously you're going to need, you know, infrared lasers and whatnot and and red dots that are night vision compa com uh, compatible. So th there's a process, you know, and night vision is not inexpensive, fam. Like you're for even, you know, kind of entry level uh, kind of night gear, you're probably looking at for a whole build out, probably somewhere between four or five thousand dollars, kind of on the low end right now. 
even then, don't get it twisted, just for the monocular itself, the night vision device itself, that can be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars alone, let alone the helmet, the mount, and, and everything else that you're going to need to go along with it. You know, there are BE Myers Mall lasers out there that are running four, five, six thousand dollars, right? So, you know, this can be the night vision pool can be on the low end, kind of like. You know, like I said, four or five thousand on the high end can be over twenty thousand dollars, right? So what I want to do is I want to put together a relatively budget build. I want it to be quality, but I want it to be um, more affordable because I'm doing this for me, yes, but I also want to do it for uh, you guys and the channel, and you can see how gradually. Um, you know, things kind of come together. So this is going to be a series. It's going to be a series probably spread out over several months. And we're going to start off with 2A NLA's bump helmet. Um, you know, usually there's two kinds of helmet. There is a bump helmet, which is really just, you know, that doesn't offer armor protection, right? And then there are armored helmets that, you know, provide ballistic uh, protection. For me, I'm not worried about that so much. Uh, for a good helmet, look, fam, for a good bump helmet, now, the, the cost differentials between a ballistic helmet and a bump helmet is night and day. Uh, that said, though, bump helmets can be, you know, sub $100 and can be as much as five, dollars $600 or more, right? Uh, ballistic helmets are even more expensive. Uh, this is a really good helmet. It's a um, an HHV, a hard head veterans helmet. I like the look of it a lot. It comes with everything that you would want. And so this is kind of where I'm starting. I want to say this helmet is a couple hundred bucks. I'll put up the MSRP on this helmet, but it's very comfortable. Um, it's got a lot of cushion and it comes with additional cushion, uh, cushion as well. Uh, very comfortable, uh, and has like kind of everything you need to have a base start, uh, for your night vision journey. So Hardhead Veterans makes a really good helmet. Uh, Opscore makes a really good helmet. Wendy makes a really good helmet. So, you know, look. The helmet is kind of the foundational piece of the puzzle. So, you know, spend a little bit of money to get a better quality helmet. Uh, you can definitely find something, like I said, between the 150 bucks and 300 bucks. And uh, that is a good place to start your journey. So look, fam, I am really, really looking forward to this process. This is going to be one that I am not going to uh, rush. I'm going to be very methodical in my approach. So we're starting it off with the helmet. Um, next episode, we'll probably do all the ancillary things that um, you are going to need to go along with the helmet, including uh, hearing protection, which is something I don't think people uh, think about uh, off the top. Um, so uh, next we'll be outfitting the helmet. After that, we'll do the mount. After that, we'll likely do actually the night vision device. Uh, after that, we'll start focusing on the items that actually go on your firearm. So um, this is going to be a series, like I said, probably over uh, maybe four or five episodes over like a six month span until we are fully ready to do uh, a complete night vision setup. But I'm looking forward to it, fam. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys, and hopefully you enjoy it. All right? That's it for this episode, fam. As always, take care of one another, and peace.